Guys, we have to be very gentle. Yes, because we just had a ghost and it took over the board. And we don't understand why. But we're okay now. <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, go. Miss okay. Benson. So I'm going to do this example over here, which is on the bottom of the back of your notes. So we're going to skip the first two, go to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to take my y-intercept and put it in a box. All right, and that's the first point that I'm going to graph. I'm going to go to my y-axis, and I'm going to touch, put a point at positive 1. Yeah, that looks okay. We can see it. Okay. Then... Should I make it a different color? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Try that. Well, it's a little darker. It's fine. I think they can see it. I can see it. Okay. Okay. All right. Then um, we're going to take our slope, which is already a fraction, so we don't have to do any extra work. And we just got to decide if it's positive or negative. So it says 3 fourths. So this is a positive slope. I'm going to write positive. And if you remember from the little notes that I wrote over here on the last slide, that means that I'm going to count up and then I'm going to count to the right. So we're going to count up, one, two, three, and then we're going to count to the right, one, two, three, four, and that's where my second point is going to go. Now if I had a bigger graph, we could put more points on there, but I'm out of space, so I'm just going to stop and I'm going to draw a line. And I'm all done. Perfect. That was wonderful work, Miss Smith. Congratulations. Thank you very You're much. You're a very smart girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's try this again on this side. And let's look at it carefully. All right. We got this. We're going to draw a box around our y-intercept. And that's the first place that we're going to graph. So that says a negative 5. Yes. I'm going to start at my origin, 0, 0, and count to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. Ooh. Can you see that one? Yeah. yeah it's good. down there. All right. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look. Well, guess what? My slope was not as kind as Miss Benson's. It was just a 2, so I'm going to put a 1 under it because 2 over 1 is the same as 2. We know this. Now, I'm going to also read it. Hmm. There's no negative sign there. No negative. That means this is a positive slope. Yep. So I'm going to start at my y-intercept. I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to go to the right. And guess what? What? I have room to plot points from here until the cows come home. Ooh, fancy. Yes. So I'm going to just plot my little heart out. Let's you ready? Starting at y-intercept, I go up, two, one, two, to my right one, and I plot a point. Beautiful. Good. Can I do it again? Yes, again. Okay, okay. One, two, to my right one, plot a point. Can we do it again? Yes! One, two, to the right, plot a point. I'm so excited. Can I do There's it one more time? No room. One, two, plot a point. There you go. Wow. And then, Miss Vincent, you draw better lines than me, so do Whoa. it. Here we go. Whoa! That no, was not great. That was either. not great, but it's okay. It looks okay, okay on there. <laughs> it looks okay on there. So that's how you take a, an equation and you plot it. We forgot to tell him something. What? Y equals mx plus b. No, remember I said we just do that when we get back. Oh, okay. Whew, we gotta do that when we get back because, yeah. <laughs>